Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing an update on this U-Core Dynamo set of mine. As you can see, it is already running. This is the first test I'm gonna do with a load. I'm gonna do a 5 watt load. It is a 5 watt automotive light bulb. Then I'm gonna short the DC output coming from the coils. The coils are in series connected. I'm also going to fill this one farad large capacitor over here and we'll take it from there. I'm running it at this time at yeah the DC, not the DC, the digital meters are over the place. So yeah, as you can see, nine something, let's say 9.5 volt input at this moment. The reason for that is if I run it lower, the lights uh, blink a little bit. And now it's more steady at what high RPM. Uh, before I start, let's do a RPM check. As you can see, it is running now at 1553.52. Okay. Gonna short at first. Here comes the short. Oops. Yeah, there's a lot of juice in there. I can tell you that. It's not completely shorted, coming from the output, as you can see here are the output lines, my uh, bridge rectifier, a cap, and they are shorted over here. The vibration on the setups is uh, pretty good, very good indeed, minute. Let's see what the RPM is doing now. Um, As you can see, the RPM has dropped a little bit. It is now 1512. So it has dropped for about 30 RPM on the short. Now I'm going to do the 5 watt light bulb. There it is. 5 watt load. I can hear it slowing down more. That's why I always say don't only short your coils also load them, there's a big difference before I uh, measure the RPM yeah, that is in total darkness the output on that 5 watt load is not that bad it's not 5 watt that I know maybe 3 watt or so, something like that doesn't really matter now Okay, let's check the RPM. Seems to be pretty steady now. RPM is at 1235, 32, 31, 29. In other words, there's still decreasing a little bit. Twelve hundred and twenty, so it's about yeah three hundred RPM less. Now I'm gonna fill up the capacitor over here. And we'll see how that goes. So as you could see on the short, it is only uh, dropping the system by 30 RPM. Under a load, 5 watt load, it is dropping the system about 300 RPM, 10 times more. This large cap is already 13.8 uh, volts, including the DC, uh, not DC, digital meter in here and the two LEDs, which are combined maybe 30 milliamp, they are also using. Now, what is the RPM at this moment? Yeah, I climb a little bit. 1300 and... Yeah, 1400. Still climbing. The more the capacitor is being filled, the higher the voltage here, the higher the RPM over here. 
like I said, it is my first test on this setup. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I think it's it uh, got some potential. I'm gonna put my thing over here to feel the cores. They are not warm at all. I was expecting a lot of heat over here because of the eddy currents, but no, totally cold. That is a little bit of surprise for me. I might add. Yeah, cold. Nice. So yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I would like to put this <laughs> at the at the source, but that will come. Uh, by the way, I'm running it now at uh, with the five millimeter uh, magnets in there. And one more thing: uh, in the previous video, I had them uh, north, south, north, south, north, south. Uh, that does give me a little bit of energy, but not much. And the reason for that is the magnetic field switching is not optimum. So now they are north, 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 south, south, south. Basically, uh, the rotor is half south, half north. And now I got perfect magnetic field switching, which gives you a perfect uh, dynamo producing energy. So one more time, I've removed the cap. I'm gonna short it out. As you can see, there's a lot of spark in there. Continuously shorten it out. It's completely short out, and the RPM should be increasing towards the 1530 or something like that. Yeah, you can see it here, it's climbing already 1478. Seven. Oops, 80. Yeah, let's give it some time. So personally, I think if I show, should yeah, run this device around 2000 RPM, the effect, the performance will be better. Uh, it will be consuming more, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, like I said before, I'm using now the five millimeter magnets, and the next test uh, after this one will be with the 10 millimeter thickness magnets and see how that goes let's see the RPM now yeah almost 1500 yeah it's getting there slowly so roughly now I'm gonna open it completely it's now an open system and for those who want to know the voltage output um, give me a minute gonna measure it over here the output is now 25 volts DC in series so yeah at this speed or at higher speed I think I'm gonna go with um, maybe the coils in uh, parallel lower voltage and a bit higher amperage system is now completely open uh, what is the RPM doing yeah the same as where we started nice okie dokie um, how long is this video already? Before it gets too boring. Oh, almost 10 minutes. Anyway, I'm gonna light it up one more time. There's a light load. System is slowing down. Anyway, it should slow down to about 1220, 15, something like that. But not more. Anyway, I'm gonna stop it before it becomes a really boring video. I'm gonna disconnect it over here. There's the input side. It's completely disconnected now. Still going on its own. 
little bit of light anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, wait one moment as you can see over here 5 millimeter magnets in there and next test will be or another one on top of those or I'm gonna use the 10 millimeter ones I have over here okay once again hope you enjoyed it and as always thank you for watching